GP family doctor, monkeys in a bright yellow room with a dark-haired young woman. The sign on the door reads, engaged. Today, Monkey has come along to see Dahl, who's a general practitioner. She's a family doctor, also known as a GP. Hi, I'm Beth. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Maddie. Hello, Monkey. Hello, lovely to meet you all. My name's Dahl, I'm a GP. Welcome to my surgery. What can I do for you today? So what do GPs do? The GP, um, also known as a family doctor, sees patients uh, during the day. Um, all our patients are um, welcome to make appointments. We have appointments available on the day um, and appointments that you can book in advance. We see babies, children, mums and dads and uh, old people. We allow people to make appointments so they can see a GP at a time that suits them and so they don't have to spend a long time waiting to see somebody to get medical help. How long do you have to train to be a GP? Oh, we have to train for five years at medical school, which is the same as all doctors. We then have three years in hospital, um, followed by another year training with a GP who shows you how to do the job. You can see your GP during uh, normal daytime hours, which is 8 till 6.30 with a booked appointment. If you feel that you need to see a GP outside of these hours, there are GPs who work in out-of-hours clinics um, and GPs that work in walk-in centres and they will be able to help you. Monkey wonders if you have any tips on how we can all stay healthy, don't you Monkey? Well, that's a very good question Monkey, and part of staying healthy is healthy eating. And we all know that we should have five a day of fruit and vegetables, so... Thank you. Doll hands out bananas. Thank you. The other thing we should do is we should all exercise regularly. That can be playing outside with your friends, playing football, um, going for a walk, cycling, swimming, anything you like. The other thing that's important is making sure that you're safe when you're out on the roads. So always listen to grown-ups, be careful when you're crossing the roads and make sure you wear your cycling helmet when you're out on your bike. So who else works in the GP surgery? We have lots of people that work with us. Um, we have receptionists who are normally ladies at the front desk who will book you in and ask you to have a seat. We have people like me who are the doctors and we have um, practice nurses. A practice nurse um, is a, usually a very clever lady, sometimes a man, um, and they do lots of different things. Um, their job includes giving uh, vaccinations to, to children to make sure they don't get um, nasty illnesses. They also are very good with our first aid and um, bumps that you may have had, and they're very helpful with that sort of thing. A lot of nurses can help you with simple illnesses as well, so your mum or dad might bring you to see the nurse instead of the GP, and they'll be able to help you. What happens when we have a worry about something? It's very important that you're able to talk to a grown-up that you can trust, and that might be a teacher at school, it might be um, somebody in your family, but if you really feel there's nobody that you can talk to, um, Childline is available and there's always somebody at the end of the phone to listen to your problems. Are there any other things we can do to keep healthy? Yes, um, it's very important that you make sure you wash your hands, particularly before you eat and after you go to the toilet. Um, if you have a cold, um, make sure that you cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Always have a tissue to hand as well. Um, and when you're out playing in the sun, make sure you've got some sunscreen on. Slip, slap, slap! Exactly. The children smile at Monkey, who's sitting beside the computer on the desk. ITFC, audio description.